2013, continuing on from uh, the f previous matches, and it is very difficult to find a match. <coughs> Let me see. Okay, so in in the f in the first two videos, I I played like four matches against Dream Puppets and one against uh, Asian Ancient Wild, which uh, was a bit of a cop out. The um, the 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 guy who I played against he uh, decided to to quit out early in the Ancient Wilds match so I didn't really get to test uh, the deck against uh, some of the other d uh, decks in the format uh, especially not the top tier decks which would have been awesome so yeah let's see uh, let's see if we can find another game um, here we go Suboskal. All right, buddy. I've read it up. Let's go. Uh, here we go. Okay. All right. Let's see. This is not a keeper. Uh, no, it's too too slow. Too slow. This is amazing. I'll keep that. <coughs> In my experience, not too many people play uh, Celestial Light, so he'll probably not be expecting... He, he probably didn't expect me to drop a Soul Warden, but... Uh, <clears throat> well, here we go. He made the right choice. Absolutely. So, I need to drag this out a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I think I'll hold back. I really have no... Uh, Really have no reason to just uh, go nuts from the from the beginning. Um, and it really helps me out if I can put down a lot of, uh, a lot of land before I start dropping them, because then maybe I have something else to to buff these uh, creatures from from the beginning. I would like another soul warden. Yep, go right ahead. Burn my face. But it also works against me because now he gets to just go nuts with all the with all his fire spells. Uh, I do have a little bit of life gain, but this might actually show uh, the deck's weaknesses. Uh, I read uh, Wingspan TT's. Uh, um, uh, s a strategy guide for putting together the deck on top tier tactics and he definitely uh, makes some good points in saying that um, actually he, he built his deck without <coughs> without too many pride mates without too many soul wardens and, and so on and he had more um, uh, slightly bigger creatures, uh, I think, but it, it was actually I struggled to find the differences between the decks. Uh, you know, he's got it. He's got five cards, uh, five cards in his hand. So I need to, yeah, I need, I, I need to find s a, a different uh, way to to approach this uh, because I'm not in a hurry at all, and he probably have has uh, some mass removal. So I'm not in a hurry to put these guys down. Oh, I would really like to to drop this guy down. Okay, yeah. He's not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. It's no no skin of my nose, so to speak. No, but uh Wingspan TT uh, brought out the the very good point that some of the some of the top tier decks like Flames uh, are born of flames and uh, and uh, I I don't know if it's a top tier deck but um the uh, obedient dead and and so on can can pretty pretty easily remove like the pride mates and and so on um, <laughs> i'm really i'm stalling i uh, i'm sorry if this is boring to watch but it's we're playing a game of chicken here and i want to draw something that really that okay yeah sure I'll bring this guy down So to do anything about this guy, he has to draw, uh, drop something bigger. Oh, let me just do... There you go. There you go. That's fine. 
Uh, hold on. Simplified targeting? No way. That fucked me over the other match. That's fine. That was more of a target for your spells than it was anything else. So Awesome. I like it. I like it. So here's the deal, bot. I'm going to drop this. And I'm going to drop this spell. So we come and bliss your guy. And unless, of course, you want to fuck it up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. You take five. I take uh, three. That's okay with me. Yeah, that's all right. But I know he's tapped out right now, but I want him even lower on card so he's top decking. And if he drops it again, I am going to chastise it. Yeah, bring it back. No problem. No worries. That's fine. You're going to kill yourself with it, so just saying. Just saying. Okay, give him another target. See how he responds to it. Nope, that's fine. So th this is like you really want to to slow down the games a lot when you play play against the deck like uh, Born of Flames. Uh, yeah, okay. That's fine. So how is he at four cards? Uh, <laughs> oh man, um, yeah. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Maybe give him one more target to sh to shoot for. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Draw out those searing spears. I knew it. Uh, do I want to raise my... Yeah, I, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I could have waited an another turn, but I think he, star he, he wants to start aiming for my face. And I pretty much just want his... Uh, yeah, that's what I want down, so I can keep killing it. Oh, boy. Okay. No, that's fine. That is fine. I need tricks. I need a lot of tricks. Yep, that's fine. Kiss your stupid phoenix goodbye. You can lay it again if you want to, pal. Just spend all your mana. No problem. And put it down on the table again if you want. Hopefully I draw another chastise at some point. Okay, so now I can start doing stuff. He doesn't have any... I don't think he has more than one lightning bolt, no. But now... Sync up, please. Oh, come on. But this is like, you re th this is where the game is all about stalling. And this is where I, I see why people hate the deck. Oh, what? He must have lagged out. Okay, so, but let's just assess the, the situation here. Um, I put down the Soul Warden. Then I put down one Pride Maid. I had six mana left. I put down one Pride Maid, um, which uh, I did have the Pearl Medallion, so that's one mana. And and that was, um, let's see, that, that that makes it a 3-3. Then I put down the next Pride Maid, that makes the first one a 4-4, the second one a 3-3. And that puts me up to 30 life. Then I put down both of the Sarah's Ascendants, and that gives me two 6-6s. Six uh, and that makes the first uh, Pride Maid a 6-6, six, six, and the second one a 5-5. Five, five. So he was in pretty bad shape, and I expect to have won this match unless he d 
did have like if if he was one of those guys who puts in world fire or something but he was in pretty bad shape and uh i might have overextended if he did have something like world fire but um yeah i'm going to assume that i was on uh, that that the victory was on my side um i think the guy made a, a huge mistake in not attacking me directly uh that, that would have been that would have, would have been the way to go i think uh just firing off his spells directly to my face and 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 burnt me because he you know that the the way that born uh born of flames uh works is to kill you with direct damage and uh the way that celestial like light, light works is to just keep upping your life total so th that is pretty much uh um born of flames biggest enemy is when you get this kind of synergy or dynamic going where you just keep upping your life total because they have to they, they at, at some point they're out of spells uh, unless they have creatures down and they're attacking with them but at some point uh, born of flames uh, will usually overextend and uh, don't have any more spells left against Celestia Light. Um, and that's where you see the situation where they're top decking and every round where they draw a mountain instead of a burn spell is a round where you can, where, where you have some kind of amnesty against uh, their direct damage. So basically, yeah, the, the, I, I think I played it safely and well and I think I would have won because I would have come in for... Uh, 23 points of damage he was down to 12 he could block one uh and that would yeah that would have been game unless he had something entirely insane in his uh, next uh, top draw so so off the top draw not a top draw uh so yeah let's uh, go in for another one and see if we can uh, get a a different kind of matchup oh this guy is playing goblins Uh, not a keeper. A uh, little bit better. I, I still don't like it. I like the fact that I have day, a Day of Judgment in case he's playing goblins, but this is not going to be amazing. And I think I might do the same thing again, unless he, he comes off with a really, really speedy start. Yeah, he's playing goblins. See, this is nice, getting to test the deck against some of the the really top tier de decks this is definitely a top tier deck I, I i kind of hate the goblin deck because i feel that it's so cheap but uh at the same time it's just really well built uh or it can be really well built for i'm gonna take a chance here because i have several of them and uh, it's probably a mistake but i i do want to ward him off just a little bit but he might have a uh, uh i forget the name of it uh the guy with the cycle effect where you where you burn but oh he can't kill it in this turn unless he puts down another bushwhacker okay that's not the guy i was talking about but uh yeah he's going to mess me up and give me f four points of damage that's no problem as long as i survive this deck is going to th this deck is going to save me because i i am after all life gaining and that is the thing about uh life gain decks which he might i think if, if he has tricks he will come in for more than two and i still don't want to lose my my pride mate so so um unless he uses some kind of spell to remove my pride mate i think he might just buff them and come in for four or six again for example if he puts down a warlord goblin warlord isn't that the name of it i think so okay and we have an arsonist pile driver is kind of a big deal yeah uh i think i might just hold back for the chastise i have two of them in hand and i could put down the faith mender 
but then he's gonna gonna come in with the uh, yeah I want to remove that um, that pile driver and that's gonna give me a lot of life I think it's gonna give me at least seven points of life uh, against the three that I'm losing oh click slither that that's going to be so awesome though yeah uh, I will be doing this and you'll see why in a second um yeah do it yes any more no then that's fine kiss your pile driver goodbye buddy loose or gain seven lose seven it's an even steven and my creature is bigger thank you very much so that was pretty good for me Oh, <laughs> it's almost not fair. Now I want to, I, I think I want to do the Swords of Plowshare thing. Just put down the Faith Mender and I don't mind him gaining life from Swords to Plowshare. Especially if it takes out his whole, uh, the, the, all the creatures that he has. Because I get the feeling, I, I kind of get the feeling that this guy is the overextending type. Yep, reckless one. It's a 3-3. Three, three. So I'm going to be blocking here. No, actually, no, no. Ah, damn it. That is so awesome. And I do it before the effect goes off so he doesn't gain five life. He just gains one life no oh, three lives sorry so yeah out of the game forever i lose two life he gains three life and i'm in pretty good shape um so now i really don't have no, any reason to um to go for the day of judgment but i might have in a in a short while but the thing is that now he's down to one card in his hand and he has these two weenie creatures my creatures are just getting bigger by the second and um my pride mate is getting bigger this time uh, I, I i gain a little life from uh the faith mender i gain two life because it gives every time you gain life you gain twice that amount and now i have another life gainer so i'm in in really good shape now what is this? Arm stealer. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's gonna suck. That is gonna suck. Yeah, that is gonna suck. Well, of course. That was bound to happen. I am not too worried about it though and this is a huge mistake on his part because his creature is not gonna give one damage to my creature see my creature has first strike yeah you really dicked yourself over buddy you really messed yourself up and see I have another one uh, of course he does have like I, I think it it's probably just going to be a target for his uh, his arms dealer, but I don't mind too much much because I'm getting in there every round. I'm getting uh, gaining life, and uh, he is losing goblins every turn. Uh, every time he puts down a goblin, he has to consider uh, to to just waste it to to get rid of my pride mate. And if he doesn't get rid of it uh, this turn, it's going to be too big for him to get rid of. Okay. Okay. No? Okay. That was a huge mistake, my friend. Yeah. Mm. That was a huge mistake on your behalf. Uh, on, on your part, sorry. Um, I think I'm going to try to trick him. It might not work, but it might work. So, keep the Faith Mender back as a blocker. See, 
this is why you really want to <laughs> you really want to get to know the effects. Uh, I don't know the command for chatting. Hold on for a second. Chat, 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 chat. Hold on. Come on. Uh, chat, 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 chat. Da, 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 text chat. Okay. I don't know. Why can't I? Do why can't I use the chat? Uh, hold on. I think I turned it off. Preferences. Da da da. I have no idea. For some reason I don't know <laughs> how to how to respond. Uh and that's a shame because I wanted to tell him good game. He was uh that was the polite thing to do. That was definitely the polite thing to do. Okay, so since he was a nice fella, I'm just gonna get in there with uh, uh, with the Knights of the Metagrain, win the match, and that is that. And I'll see if he's up for another round. Um, all right, uh, no life gain early on, but uh, yeah, so we're in the middle of match uh, three, the final match of this video, and let's uh, let's see how it goes. I'm really surprised that I'm getting so many uh, wins with this deck, but it's um, turned out to be a pretty good build. Uh, I did expect to get messed up a lot more than uh, than I have been so far, but it's not to be honest it's uh, it hasn't been the best of opponents uh, but but uh, at least some nice guys so that is definitely a that is a de definite uh, bonus in my my book i'm going to put the faith mentor down to have something both to block with and something to buff my pride mates with and um then i'll be sure when i have my pride mates down to unless he removes them and i don't think he does because i think he wants to um put more goblins into play uh so unless he does remove them in in fact uh i think i am going to have uh, three threes um instead of two twos on the uh, on the very round i i i put them into play but then again it all depends on uh, what he plays of course see it, it is like i said it's a really strong deck goblin deck uh, the goblin deck so uh, it might go in a completely different way, but let's get these bad boys down, and then at least they're out of range for the what is the name of the card? Uh, the guy that the guy that like a two-two that you can sack for for one colorless, and um, and then. Uh, deal damage to your opponents uh, or deal damage to either an opponent or or actually just a player or, or a creature deal two damage so yeah there's that yep yeah that was probably the smart play although unless he has some way of removing the pride mates I am gonna get life gain in well, unless I get mana screwed in, well, right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. Mm, I think I'm just gonna hold back for the block. Uh, yes. So they like if you saw my my deck build videos, uh, you you see how powerful a first strike is uh, paired with life gain uh, with with a life link. When it comes to yeah, there there it was, Gem Palm Incinerator. Um, especially when it comes to 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 the Ajani Pride made life gain combination. Well, what do you know? I'm just gonna give him another target or make him really unhappy about the fact that he might have to 
that that to get gain any kind of board position he he needs to put down more creatures uh, so every creature is going to hurt him uh unless he has a goblin grenade i think he he already used the goblin grenade to remove my faith mender yeah and a gem paul incinerator yeah so i have no tricks i have nothing on my hand but i do have lot of life and uh, no I'm not gonna <laughs> okay well I might as well though I might as well because you just know he's going to sack it yeah 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 um, going to do this going to do that we know you're gonna sack that in uh, that guy anyway yeah we know we just know it okay so no, you're not gonna sack it. Yeah. So I I lost my soul warden, of course, but it's no big problem actually. Oh, it has trample now. I need to read my cards better. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ah, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So I really can't do much about that. So here I'm going to play to my strength and uh, make myself a 5-5. Five five. So give him 6 damage unless he blocks. And um, he can start... Of course, ah, I didn't think about the Goblin or the Warren Investigator. Doesn't matter. I'm, s I'm going to keep smashing and do a lot of damage. And uh, it's going to be a race. And I gain life and he lo uh, loses life. So yeah. Um, but I'm not in the best position. He's in a much better position because he got rid of uh, a lot of my uh, good creatures. Like the, there we go. He's going to. He's definitely going to take out my knight. Uh, got rid of all of these cards: the f uh, rocks, faith, Med, the Ajani's pride, mate, and the soul worn. Well, well. See, that sucked quite a bit. Um, okay, so now I'm in an entirely different position because he put down the Siege Gang, uh, gang Commander. And he can actually do some damage now. I should have attacked, though. I should have swung in. Should have attacked with the Knights of the Meadow Grain because I might not have a chance to do anything with it now. He might kill it before I get a chance to boost my uh, my pride mate and he might just sack his what's going on he might just sack his uh, his um, bum 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 yeah okay that is definitely a GG <laughs> yeah I am done for uh, clicks a little bit blocked, and he sacks. Really? Oh yeah. If so, it trembles, of course. Yeah. Yeah. It might be enough. It might, and it is. It's. Ex no. Is it? Ah, oh, because I blocked and gained life. Yeah, okay. I see. He should have sacked one more. One or two more. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, uh, I, I can't be anything but happy about the result of, uh, of this match. Um... Oh, not this match, not this particular match, but the result of the three matches today. Uh, because I, I won against uh, 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 Born of Flames. I won against, uh, um, what is it called? Um, yeah, the Goblin deck. And I lost against the Goblin deck. And that is what is to be expected. I'm very surprised, actually, that I that I won against uh, both of these decks. But I, it's all about your starting hand. And you can definitely see that... Um, I had good starting hands in the first two matches. 
I think I played really smart by just stalling out because he was doing the re reactionary. Uh, the the guy who played the um, the Born of Flames uh, deck uh, was doing the reactionary thing where he he was just waiting, uh, stalling, trying to react to my actions. And when I, when I didn't have any actions, he was forced into uh, dropping down that uh, uh, that uh, Phoenix that I uh, used to my advantage. So, but yeah not the best of opponents it, it, you might have a lot uh, like a really really hard time getting this deck uh to to purr like a kitten uh, if if you play against really good opponents especially against the top tier decks but i i think i've showed that you can build the deck in a way that it's kind of competitive to the point that you you can have fun playing it it, it is a fun deck when, when it works and when you have the synergy going that is the f uh, the the great thing about um, magic the gathering and a deck that a decks that that are built for synergy uh is that you get that feeling that everything is just working together and uh, like everything is is like a cog in the machine all your little actions all your little cards are just uh, working towards a, a common goal and um yeah that that works really well and you saw like the first uh, uh or the second match uh, which was the first ma uh, match against the goblin deck everything also came together really nicely i removed everything he uh, or tricked him and uh Removed the stuff that uh, I didn't want on the on the board um, uh, by by uh, blocking and uh, and uh, use my spells wisely, and uh, I I think I played it pretty smartly at least to the point where I I pretty much dismantled his his whole board positioning, and then in the second match it was more the typical kind of goblin deck situation where you just get overrun. Um, and in the in the end, he had the siege gang commander that just just messed me up, just tore me a new a new one. And uh, there's not much to do about that. So uh, yeah, there's not much to say other uh, other than uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll watch uh, next week uh, where I put together a new build, a new deck, um, and uh, try to gain s uh, some wins with uh, yeah with my build. So. Um, Thanks and uh, adios.